Dad, Mom, I'm going to school now. It was a normal day of 2020 in Rocky Roadville. Marie was on her way to school with Alex, Charlotte, Evelyn, and Brianna. They were almost at school when they saw Miss Kate running around with her hands in the air saying, We're gonna die! And Miss Kate was their math teacher, kind of insane as you can see. Anyways, they reached school and continued there to class. During math class, Miss Kate was presenting the announcements on the screen. Suddenly, there was an announcement saying, Log down, log down. Everyone go to the auditorium immediately. Everyone rush the auditorium as quick as possible. I feel like something's gone wrong with the vaccine that came out last week. Man, I don't really care, but this seems serious. Everyone calm down. Everything is going to be fine. As if I'll believe that. Marie took out her phone and saw that the vaccine wasn't tested correctly, so everyone who took the vaccine have been turned into purple and yellow zombies. The vaccine wasn't tested, and now half of the world's populations are purple and yellow zombies. What, really? Hey, I knew it. But anyways, that's really bad. I think we should go home. The vaccine was not tested correctly, so now everyone who is vaccinated turned into purple and yellow zombies. Everyone, do not panic, but you need you cannot go home. It's not safe out there. Go back to your classrooms and be calm. Really? You expect us to remain calm when half the world turned into purple and yellow zombies? Day one. I'll go to the cafe and make some lunch. Okay. Oh my god, our classmates turned into zombies. Close the door. There's a vent on top of the bookshelves here. Let's go into the vent. Day two. I got more food. Help me out of the vent. Okay, got it. I got a stove. How did you get a stove? I don't know, I just found it. I'll use the stove to cook. Day three. I got some beef and pork. I got some instant ramen. I got a microwave. Where did you find all these, Brianna? The kitchen. Let's just eat. Day four. I found chips. I need to use the bathroom. We haven't went for five days. My back hurts from sleeping on the ground. Toughen up. At least you slept. I have insomnia. Well, just sleep then. She can't! God, how is she a teacher? A few weeks have passed. More and more zombies lurked around the school halls, most of them being students and teachers. Okay, we have to send someone out because we we're low on food and we haven't showered in weeks. Let's vote and send someone out. I vote Marie. I vote Marie too. Me too. She's the only one who knows how to fight. So by default, I'm going, right? Everyone nodded. All right, fine. Take this, a bat to hit zombies if needed. Marie left with the bat and headed out to find human life. A few hours later, she found a lab. Oh my God, this is modern. There were high-tech computers, a lot of science equipment with chemicals in them. Hey, scientist dude, can you send out flyers out? Why? My friends are out there. They need to know where I am. Okay then, the printer's here. 703 Cherry Bush Street, we're here! Oh my god, we're finally here. You're finally here. I've been waiting for hours now. Where's everybody else? Dead. Brianna got infected. She's okay, nothing serious, but she needs to be healed. Someone get her to the nurse's office. Brianna fainted and was being carried by Alex Marie. Uh, Marie helped Alex carry Brianna to the nurse's office. Marie was really sad. Brianna got bit as she and Brianna had been friends for 12 years now. Rest well, Brianna. Then Marie brought the others to the dorms. The dorms were clean and neat, but they were bunk beds. Everyone chose where they wanted to sleep. They all took a shower and went to bed. The next day, they all made their beds, brushed their teeth, and went to the cafe to get breakfast. Okay, so we have to choose who does what. Where's Brianna? She's in the other room. I think she still needs more time to heal. I can teach Alex how to fight so I have someone to fight with me. I can go help the scientists with Miss Kate. And I can go take care of Brianna and cook. Then everything settled. They worked all day until it was almost midnight. Everyone was getting ready for bed. Marie went to check up on Brianna while Miss Kate and Evelyn went to work more. And the others got ready for bed. You guys go on and get to bed. We'll be staying up for a bit. Marie walked in and saw Brianna in an almost dead state and went next to sit to her. Oh my god, Brianna. I hope you get better soon. 
Marie stayed and slept next to Brianna. Suddenly, she saw someone holding a neon blue syringe and injecting it into Brianna. Brianna looked even more worse than she was before. Still breathing though, Marie wanted to chase after the person but was too tired as she did too much fighting and her feet hurt. Hey, what was that? I think I heard footsteps. Let's go check. Hey, Marie, what's going on? I'll explain later, but we have to go to bed now. The next morning. So about last night. Yeah, Marie, explain. I saw someone inject a neon blue liquid into Brianna. I saw Miss Kate leaving the lab with a neon blue syringe. And Brianna got into a worse state. She's still breathing though. Oh my god, Miss Kate is really sus. I think it was a failed cure. What's up guys, having a good morning? Mmm, I smell pancakes, who's hungry? Uh huh, okay, sure. Hey, you guys okay, you're uh... Yeah, yeah, we're all good. Okay, let me know if you guys need anything. Ayo, hey, what if you heard us? Eh, I could care less, she gave me an F last time. I don't care if she dies. Eh, neither do I. I mean, I'm sure she's up to something really suspicious. Let's take turns looking after Brianna at night. If she keeps this act, she's doing something we don't know about. So every night, they took turns visiting Brianna, somewhat spying on Miss Cade, and every time Miss Cade would come in and inject something into Brianna. After the injection, Brianna looked worse and worse. Then, Miss Cade was in the kitchen, picking up something for lunch. Evelyn and Alex went to look out on Miss Cade, while Marie and Charlotte went to check on Brianna. Oh my god, look, her skin. It's purple. Moments later, the scientists found two cures for the disease. Uh, hello, I found the two cure -la. We test on the Brianna girl and the zombie okay -la. Took you long enough. Let's try this pink one on Brianna and Marie. And Alex, go kidnap a random zombie. Let's go. I think I should look out for Mrs. Kate. She's been really suspicious. Around 8.30 at night, Alex went to kidnap a zombie and the others tested the pink cure while Marie held a bat and guarded the door. Around 8.30 at night, Alex went to kidnap a zombie and the others tested the pink cure while Marie held a bat and guarded the door. It worked! Oh my god, yes! Wait, what's happening? Why is everyone standing around me? So you got bit while coming to the lab and Miss Kate injected something bad into you and almost killed you. Wow, I knew she was bad news right when she joined. I know, right? Y'all, I have the zombie. <laughs> that looks like Miss Kim. Let's tie her to the fence. Hey guys, it's getting late. I think we should probably head back inside and get some rest. Okay. The next day. The next day. I'm here. Good, get in. What's going on? I've been looking everywhere for you guys. Alex quickly ran inside the room with the zombies and closed the door shut. Don't act all innocent, Mrs. Cade. What are you guys talking about? Oh, we all know what Marie is talking about, Miss Cade. Well, you can't do anything. Brianna's already dead. Well, isn't it my least favorite teacher, Miss Cade? But, 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 Brianna, you're still alive? Well, I'm not dying without a fight. Brianna and Evelyn decided to sit out while Alex, Charlotte, and Marie fought Miss Cade. Well, that was easier than expected. I never expected our math teacher to be this weak. While they were fighting, Brianna, Evelyn, and the other scientists rode different helicopters and dumped the two cures on the whole town. And since the Wi-Fi was back, they sent a notice saying that there's a cure. They sent the cures and the earth was turning back to normal. Miss Cade was arrested. You will regret this! This will not be the end of me! Sure seems like it. And class, that's how me and my friends saved the world. It was pretty fun, not gonna lie. Yeah, 2020 was a whole horror movie. Yeah, getting bit was really fun. Oh yeah, I forgot you were bit. Oh my god. What? what? Turn on the news. Catherine Kate, the evil teacher who tried to kill everyone, has escaped from a jail cell. She left this voice note saying, I told you I'll be back. Good luck saving the world again. Girls, I'm back and better than ever. Stop the recording. <laughs> Piano. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it 
It was pretty fun, not gonna lie. Yeah, 2020 was a whole horror story. Yeah, getting bit was really fun. Oh yeah, I forgot you were bit. Oh my god. What? <laughs> not you. Moments later, the scientists found to are they playing that song? You guys, we got stopped. It's right on my feet. Moments. Oh my, oh my god. god. I. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Catherine Kay, the evil teacher who tried to kill everyone, has escaped to jail. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs>